The music of Lady Zama saying collide, taking us 25 after its 80s. It's Prefab FM with yours truly, men behind the combination, keep you hold alone or hanging out alone without OK Razmont Zion on the other directions. As we do it each and every evening at 20 past, we have an inspirational speaker, a verbal linguistic motivational speaker, and personal intelligence. That's Mr. Thomas Kenneth Matt. Good evening and welcome to Prefab FM. Yeah, it is such a, a wonderful Monday so that we have every night that uh, when we'll be able to uh, talk under the theme living a purpose-driven life. Uh, this time around, what are, exactly are we talking about? Thank you. We are continuing with the theme and our topic is the half dozen steps of success of which step number one is what we call identity. Now, for the past and we are dealing with which are based on research that we, that can be used by one to determine who he is or who she is. So today we, 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 we the learning styles. We came to Howard Gardner's uh, multiple intelligences. Today we'll be, we we also look at the Johari window. Today we are going to look at the the work done by Tim LaHaye and many other psychologists. On, on the personality temperament. Now, let, let me say this from the beginning. Just like the learning signs, the temperament, they are also formed. We all have them in us. But when you do the test, the good thing about this one, Nibu and the listeners, mm. one can do a test so that you can find what you are. But let me say this. They even say it on the test. That it's better if you also get two or three other people that knows you better to do it for you. For a simple reason, sometimes we, we don't want what we are and we want what we wish to be. For mm. instance, on the test, it might say that you are rude. And Nemo, you know you are rude, but you don't want to. So instead of kicking or marking on that you are rude, you mark that you are not. So at the end of the day, you don't get the, 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 the better picture of what who you are. But if you get other people to do it for you, then you compare their results and what you have done yourself. You get at least a, a, a better picture of who you really are. Now, we're going to look at them one by one. We're going to look at the strengths and the weaknesses. We're not going to cover everything. We'll just pick a few because of our time. The first mm. one is called a sanguine. And here are their strengths. They are sociable. They are charismatic. They are outgoing. They are confident, warm-hearted people. They are pleasant, lively, optimistic, a fun lover, a preventer of dull moments. They are quick to apologize, an easy friend maker. You, 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 you'll notice these people, wherever they go, neighbor, mm. they, they are just loved by people because they love people. It's easy to live with them. But here's their weaknesses. They are very impulsive. They are forgetful. They, they are compulsive talkers. These people can talk. They are too loud, sometimes too happy. They easily get distractible not interested in following through with tasks that are boring, they are self-absorbed, and at times they tend to exaggerate things. Someone who, because they tend to exaggerate things, sometimes they appear as being unconcerned. But these are the weaknesses of sanguine. Then the second group, they are called choleric. Their strengths, they are ambitious, Passionate, leader like, focused, efficient, practical, good at planning, good at problem solving, they are confident, they are motivating, a delegator, usually right, great in an emergency. And their weaknesses, they tend to be aggressive, domineering, inflexible, impatient, rude and tactless argumentative, unable to relax, uncomfortable around emotions, low on empathy, discouraged by failures, 
too busy for people, intolerant, a leader who demands loyalty. The third group, mm. they are called phlegmatics. I, I love this group because I, I, I know one very close to me who falls under this group. <laughs> they, they are strength. They are relaxed. They are quiet and calm, content with themselves, kind, consistent, a steady and faithful friend, very accepting, affectionate, diplomatic, peacemaking. They are rational, they are curious, they are observant, and easy friend maker. And they are weaknesses. Sometimes they are shy, fearful of change, prone to laziness, and this is one that the person I'm talking about doesn't want to, to accept. Mm. They are stubborn, Nico. Stubborn. <laughs> Passive, aggressive, indecisive, permissive, not goal-oriented, unenthusiastic, too compromising, undisciplined, they can be sarcastic at times, discouraging and non-participative. If you can look, Nebo, before mm. I go to the last one, if you can look at this group, you realize that their characteristics are more like the reflectors we talked about when we're talking about the learning side. Mm. Then we go to the last one. They are called melancholy. Their strengths are they are thoughtful, they are considerate, they are cautious, they are organized, an excessive planner, schedule-oriented. They are detailed, highly creative in poetry, art, and invention, independent, good at preventing problems. You realize that we had the cholerics, they solve problems. Mm. These ones, they prevent them. They are weaknesses. They are obsessive, too cautious, prone to depression, prone to moodiness, they are perfectionists. These people can be troublesome. If you, you get to be married to one, you, you don't move things in the kitchen, even if it's a mark. Where you cook it, you must put it back there. They, they, are, they are difficult to please, and this comes because of their perfectionism. They, they always want things to be perfect. They are deeply affected by tragedy. A person with a tunnel vision, they, they are not open, but sometimes a procrastinator. This might be caused by their perfectionism, discontent with themselves and others, and they are prone to play a martyr. Now, Nibo mm. and the listeners, why do we have to know these things? The reason is, once we know what our strengths are, we are able to enhance them. We are able to develop them, and we are able to use them to the best of our abilities. And also, when we know our weaknesses, we are able to deal with them. We are able to come up with ways of how can we minimize them. We are able to bring other people closer to us who have got strengths where we are weak. If you look at the four of them, it's easy to realize that the weaknesses of the other is the strength of the other. And mm. in that manner, it, it, it makes it easy for us to associate with people who are different from us. But in many cases, you find that we want to bring people who are like us closer to us. And it does not take long before we start fighting for the territory. Because we can do the same things. We are good at the same things. So we start fighting to do those things. But the good thing will be to bring people who are different from us closer to us. Let me say for you. I'm, I'm, I'm a, a choleric same way. Okay, that's what they call personality blend. Mm. The personality blend or personality temperament blend is when you have done your test, the highest two, you take them. That makes the blend. So in my case, I'm a choleric sanguine, which and both of them are extrovert. And that is one thing that some people will call me crazy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> both my, 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 my temperament, the highest two, both of them are extrovert. So mm. that is 
what they call it, the empowerment plan. And the, like I've said, the, the primary is the highest one, and then the secondary is the second one. Then the other two will be low down there, and then you discard them. So at the end of the day, you, the, the plan kind of also neutralize each other, but they also make us to be able to know what are the things that we are good at, and then we concentrate on developing that, and also know what are the things that we are not good at. Then we bring other people in our lives who are good with those things. Let me give you a simple example. Yes. My wife is a phlegmatic. Okay. And when you look at the phlegmatics, they, they, they tend to be, they, they are relaxed. Whereas I am a same wine, I tend to be very quick. So the, 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 the combination of the two, when she doesn't want to move, I will pull her. And when I move very quick, she will pull me back. So we kind of blend and Match. balance somewhere in the middle there. So there's no one who is quick and leave the other behind, but there's no one who is stayed behind but pulled so that we move together. So Nimo, let me conclude by saying mm. this. The, the same way, they are called fun-loving, extrovert, outgoing, very social. They are called the life of the party. You, it, your party is not going to be beautiful without these people. If you are looking for an MC or a program director for your party, go for these people. <laughs> because they, they make the party to be the party. Okay. In the absence of them, you don't have the party. Then the second, you've got the choleric. They are very focused, goal-oriented. Mm. They are called the achievers. Like the same ones, they are also extroverts. Then the third one, the melancholy. They are detailed, they are introspective, and they are artistic, naturally gifted. Whatever they touch turns into gold, mm. and they are introverts. The mm. last one is the phlegmatic, mm. easygoing, stable, and mm. consistent. They are called the loyal friend, and I can testify to this. They've mm. got very few friends, but once you become a friend with these people, you know that you have got a friend. You know you've got somebody you can rely on. Unlike the same wines, because they just love everybody, they make friends with everybody, and they can easily forget you. So, looking at all that we have done up to date, Mm. All these things help us to be able to identify ourselves. Like you said, when you look into my Facebook wall, yes. I say there, looking back into the uh, learning style, yes. I'm a theorist. When you then move into the, 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 the multiple intelligence of Howard Gardner, I'm a verbal linguist mm. who happens also to be an Interpersonal uh, intelligence. Somebody. Now you look to, uh, into the personality temperament. I'm a choleric same way. You mm. will realize that there is a link between these things. As a same way, very outgoing. You look at the interpersonal intelligence. Somebody. They are related. You look at the theories. These they come together. You look at the strengths. They are more or less the same. So it is good for us. Today I can tell you, Ndibo, without you knowing my name, actually, if you can go to Google and mm. try to find who Kenneth Mate is, you are likely Google will only send you to my Facebook page and whatever. Yes. You'll never know who Kenneth Mate is. But when yeah. you go and look for Kenneth Martin, who is a theorist, you can go to an organizational behavior textbook, you go and read, then you will know what type of a person this Kennedy is. You will know what Kennedy's strengths are and what weaknesses he has. If you go to Google or you go to the library, you look at the multiple intelligences, you find that Kennedy is a verbal linguistic. Kennedy is an interpersonal somebody. Then you get to have a picture of this person before you even meet him. You look at what we've talked about today, the personality temperament. You get to know that Kenneth, the choleric sanguine or the close end as they call it in the temperament,
environment blend. It's somebody who has got this type of strength and this type of witnesses. So even when you 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 are a manager, you are looking for an employee, you know the type of job that you want. You are able to know what type of an employee you're looking for. This can help you to at least know that at least I have got a person who more or less can fit into this type of a job. Mm. For instance, when you go into the, the, the what do you call it? The 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 the, the, the the multiple intelligences, they also show you that people who fall under this category, they do well at the jobs of this nature. So this is also good for those who still have to choose their careers to know what their identity is so that they choose careers. <laughs> Yes. That's what we're talking about today. And I am pleading to people, go to libraries, go to Google, try to take this type of test, see who you are, and then you get to understand yourself. You are able even to relate to others around you. Because sometimes we want people to behave the way we behave, not understanding the differences. And as a result, we make our differences to divide us when we can capitalize on those differences and come together and be able to do great things. <laughs> Mr. Mate, we can all say, we can all say that uh, this month has been an eye-opening on its own when we were talking about who am I actually looking at the identity. And uh, one can definitely say we have explored much more details than everybody can be able to think on this one. This is the knowledge that is out there anymore. We just need to be guided to this knowledge. And, and, and if we are winning, I normally say this to people, you will hear people say motivation does not work. And mm. I agree with them. And they say, but why are you a motivational speaker? And they say, motivation does not work. People work. Mm. So there are people who might have had us this week and last week and the week before. But if they don't take this knowledge, if they don't go out, for instance, today we are talking about taking a test to find out what is your temperament blend. Somebody has to take an action. And it's only when you take action, then you get the knowledge. Then you take the knowledge and you use it. Only then that the knowledge becomes useful and of value. Knowledge that is not used, it's useless. Mm. You have mentioned it in a very powerful, very powerful, powerful man. Mr. Mas, let's talk about you. Are you not into writing books these days? Because uh, one can definitely say uh, the man that you bring there, Mr. Matom, every day, he's supposed to have books. So what, what exactly do you have uh, that other people can be able to get and read? <laughs> no, I knew this vision is going to come. <laughs> in the other questions where I've been, this uh. question has been asked. Let me say this, the book is not there yet, but I normally write articles, and if people would love to to receive those articles, I call them the weekly dose. I, I might say I'm now trying to compile them, hopefully they will come to be, they will become a book. Mm. I call them the weekly dose of inspiration. Mm. So I write an article about a page to three pages, and then I send out to some people, my colleagues and other people that I have their emails. So okay. if people are interested in receiving such, they can make contact with me via my Facebook call or they can call me on the numbers that I, I normally give in the station, mm. 071-671-5369. Or they can send me their emails on my WhatsApp number, 07. So people can read through us and hopefully hopefully not long the book will come out okay okay let's talk about next week what are we talking about next week we are going to look at how do you find your purpose we are going to look at the work of Vlad Doleza there are ways that he says you can use to find out what your purpose is so we're going to look at that next week and 
interesting, Mindebo. Mm. One of what, he, what, what, what dollars are called the Venn diagram. It's what I did when I was trying to find my papers, even though I had not yet come across his work. So it was very interesting when then I was reading upon his work. They said, but this is exactly what I did. Even though I did not know what it's called, I just found myself doing that because I was interested in knowing why am I in this world. Maybe let me say this as a concluding statement. Mm. Nebo, car manufacturers, after they have produced a model of a car, they normally also do what they call special edition of that same model. We have got 7 billion people in this world. Yes. And there is no one who is like you. So God does not create special editions. He creates only editions for a special assignment. So there is no other neighbor. There has never been one who was like you. And there's not going to be another who is like you. So you have been created. As, as the only edition for a special assignment. That's why it's important for you to know what your purpose is. Hey. Yeah, one can definitely say, indeed, here is a free masterclass of about yourself and also about myself. I have to go back to my drawing board and try to look upon the topic, who am I, and see where exactly do I fit. Thank you very much, Mr. Mate, and hopefully that we'll talk again next week. Thank you very much. Let's meet next week. Okay. Yeah. That's how we definitely end things just for this evening. If we can have a night, uh, let it be a blessing night to you all. From me, maybe the combination, uh, that's how we leave things for this evening. If you can have a heart, use a heart to love somebody. But if your heart is big enough, use it to love everyone.